Hi, I'm Jimmy Smith, and you can see me on 24 Legacy. But right now, the guys here at Entertainment Weekly have asked me to go back into the memory files and just take a look at some of my favorite TV jobs. One of the first regular shows that I did was a show called L.A. Law in the 80s. And there were a lot of theater actors that were part of that group. And every week, there was a, a scene where the case or cases of the week were discussed and it was called the conference room scene. I remember being in that particular conference room and looking up, there was a couple of the grips and they had the, the next particular script that we were getting ready to shoot and they were enthralled reading to see what the next show was gonna be about. So that's when I knew that the show really was gonna, was doing something. So you want me to defend a duck in a sailor suit? There was, there was a show that I worked on in the 90s called uh, NYPD Blue that was a network television show about cops, but it was a little bit ahead of its time because one of the dynamics of that particular show, besides the case of the week, was that you knew that these particular characters were involved in kind of risque sexual situations. Um, and for network TV at that time, it was kind of like unheard of. So it was fun to see every week when the new script would come in, who was gonna be at the treadmill or at the gym because they knew their butt was gonna be shown on that particular episode. There's an image. That sticks in my head. Butt work. I worked on a show called uh, The West Wing and one of the things that we did, we did live debates. To do a live debate, when you don't really know too much about the political situations, it was like, it was like doing a play. Talk about opening night jitters. Wow. I was in the pilot of my device. I was actually, I actually played Crockett's original partner, but I got blown up in the first five minutes of the show. No! What I remember is one day being in the, uh, in the wardrobe uh, department getting fitted, uh, and Don Johnson was, was there with me, and he took all of his clothes because he, there were the beautiful silk suits and uh, shark skin, you know, I iconic, the whole style about wearing. And he took all of the clothes and just kind of like wrapped them up into a ball and threw them on the side. But that became the staple of what, the way that show was and he's, he was fashion forward. Heaven knows I'm no box of candy. In the past couple of years, I just worked on a, finished working on a show for Netflix called The Get Down, which is about, uh, a group of young people in the 70s in New York, the late 70s, early 80s, when hip hop was being formed. Baz Luhrmann was one of the creators of that show, and if you know anything about his work, his work is big. And when you have meetings with people, go in as an actor, you usually are talking to a producer or a director about a show, and they have a little board with different uh, envelopes and uh, cards that have where they want the character to go. And Baz actually had a 40-foot wall that had a timeline of New York City in the late 70s, early 80s. And it chronicled what was going on in New York City, what was going on in hip hop at the time. So the political and the music worlds were intersecting in ways. It looked like an art installation, but that's the way he deals. Right now I'm working on a show called 24 Legacy and I remember bringing the pilot episode to Comic-Con and being a little nervous because Comic-Con, you know, people get dressed up as these characters. They're very vociferous, I'm putting it nicely. If they don't like a casting change or the way something is going if you're trying to do a reboot or a change. So when we showed that first 20 minutes of the pilot episode to Comic-Con here in New York, and you get this group of young people that are like kind of like this, then you know if they're not, they're not digging it, they're gonna let you know. The audience really became in engaged, so it was really exciting to see that Comic-Con audience get won over, like I hope you'll get won over when you see 24 Legacy.